I got for you today a story where Daredevil gets his sight back. And no, it's not because of Mr. Beast or Tony Stark who'd later give him brain damage. It's just an extremely new form of surgery that can help Matt Murdock see the world that he's been unable to naturally see since he lost his vision as a kid. However, the surgery is completely experimental and has a really rough chance of actually pulling through. But in Matt's case, he really has nothing to lose because he's already blind. Through the encouragement from his best friend Foggy, Matt decides to go through with the procedure, having faith that it'll turn out well. Where the doctor is eventually tell Matt that they are prepped for the procedure, so Matt is wheeled off while Woggy- while- ugh, I- I can't fucking read right now. So Matt is wheeled off while Foggy roots for him saying that when this is over, he'll be a whole new Matt Murdock. Matt asks the doctors about how the procedure will go down, to which the doctors tell him that he'll be simply replacing his damaged eyes with some donated ones. The doctor tells Matt to count down from 10 until Matt fades off into sleep. Days later, Matt awakens and sees light through the bandages as Foggy removes them, saying to Matt that his vision may be blurry for a few more days. But after rubbing his eyes a tad, his vision becomes clear and Matt is to the moon with happiness. He can finally see his best friend, his face, his hair color, everything. Matt can even see his extremely dirty apartment, which definitely needs some cleaning. Foggy asks how Matt is feeling with the newfound vision, until Matt starts shouting abruptly at the sight of Bullseye, directly behind Foggy going in for the kill. Matt jets towards a pair of scissors to stop Bullseye as he runs towards Foggy. And to save Foggy, Matt throws the scissors at Bullseye, but the scissors pass through him and into Foggy's chest. Foggy dies almost instantly, leaving Matt flustered and confused because he saw Bullseye right in front of him. He was going to kill Foggy, right? Matt turning around sees Bullseye licking his knives, smiling at Matt, leading Matt to use Bullseye's own knife against him, thrusting it into his throat, shouting that he killed his best friend. But then the illusion dissipates, revealing he stabbed his girlfriend Karen in the neck. Crying, he says that he's missed her for so long and would never hurt her. It was Bullseye there, wasn't it? Karen then bursts from the floor, shouting for a kiss from Matt. And as he backs away from Karen, he sees everyone that's ever died in his life, all shouting to Matt that he'll join them all soon in the afterlife. Matt runs to the bathroom, trying to barricade the door from all the monsters. Reaching for his phone, he calls the doctor that performed the surgery. And upon picking up, the doctor apologizes and says that he had no choice. He took his kids. Everything that Matt is seeing now is a powerful hallucinogenic being released inside his eyes tear ducts. Matt asks how long till will wear off, but the doctor tells him that it'll never go away. It's permanent. So to stop the hallucinations from happening any further, Matt claws at his eyes brutally, scratching and scratching at them, shouting through the pain, until his new eyes are ripped from his sockets laying on the bathroom floor. But the visions wouldn't stop. He could still hear and feel the hallucinations, rendering him unable to distinguish reality from fiction. And as blood dripped from Matt's face where his eyes used to be, stands Kingpin with a bat wrapped with barbed wire, ready to finish off Matt Murdock. Ending the story. This was a pretty short video, I know, but I wanted to tell y'all what I think is a pretty good short Halloween story in the Marvel Comics universe. I just really love the levels of torture Kingpin is willing to put Daredevil through just for the sake of his own pleasure. It's honestly really funny in a messed up way. But I hope y'all have a great Halloween, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.